my name is Richard Kling. I'm a clinical professor of law at Chicago College of Law. I'll be discussing the case of Maryland versus King, which is set for oral arguments before the United States Supreme Court on February 26th. Uh, it's a fascinating case coming out of the state of Maryland, which balances the uh, expectation of privacy in individuals to their DNA uh, versus Fourth Amendment considerations, probable cause, and reasonable grounds for taking DNA. Uh, in the King case, Mr. King was driving in his automobile. He was stopped in connection with a number of assault charges. Uh, and Maryland had a statute, unlike many jurisdictions, which allows DNA to be taken through buckle swabs, that is, swabs of the cheek, uh, in non-sex cases and even before conviction. Uh, that's exactly what was done with respect to Mr. King, whose DNA was taken. Uh, it was not taken in connection with attempting to prosecute him for the charge on which he was arrested, but three months later, after being put into Maryland's DNA base, uh, came up with a hit in connection with a previous sexual assault, and it became the linchpin of the prosecution against Mr. King in connection with the previous sexual assault. And so the issue becomes, given the fact that at the time that Mr. King was arrested, there was no Fourth Amendment right to uh, or reason to take his DNA in connection with the charge for which he was arrested, were his Fourth Amendment rights violated when the DNA was taken. The Maryland Supreme Court found that they were. They said that there was no basis upon which to take his DNA. He was not arrested on a sex offense. He was not convicted, and consequently, it was a constitutional violation of the Fourth Amendment. Uh, giving some handwriting potentially on the wall, uh, the state of Maryland went to the United States Supreme Court on an emergency basis and got a, a stay of any further proceedings by Justice Roberts. Uh, that is, Justice Roberts indicated until the full court heard the case, uh, he would allow Maryland to continue uh, to take DNA swabs from individuals even if they were arrested on similar circumstances to Mr. King. And so that's the issue that the court is going to have to grapple with. Uh, whether or not for uh, routine arrests, not convictions. Most jurisdictions allow DNA to be taken after convictions, and certainly almost all jurisdictions allow DNA to be taken after convictions for sex offenses. Uh, the issue before the court is, however, whether without probable cause, uh, DNA can be taken in a routine case uh, and then used in subsequent prosecutions having nothing whatsoever to do with the case for which it was taken. Uh, the debate's been going on for 45 years, and that's a balance of the uh, Fourth Amendment rights and reasonable expectation of privacy in citizens uh, versus the rights of law enforcement to conduct law enforcement investigations. 